Hello, hello. Today we're going to talk about Moon Day and also about being healthy. I want to ask you, do you feel off in the place that you're living? Maybe the frequencies, maybe something by you. But over here by me in Arizona, I feel very off. I don't know what's going on. So my question to you is, do you feel off from whatever frequencies or whatever is going on, on in our realm? And there's a lot of weird stuff. Like I saw a video the other day Cristalini put up about how she saw trees over her, over by her in Philadelphia or Pennsylvania. All the leaves are falling off. You know, the grass is turning yellow in the middle of summer. You know, over here in Arizona, trees are acting all differently and there's a lot of different stuff. Pools are turning green. So my question to you is, is there stuff that's happening by you that's kind of odd? And especially for being summertime, you know? It almost feels like, you know, these last couple days here, because it's been cloudy, it almost feels like almost like fall to winter, which is really strange. And somebody just said it's all the stuff they're spraying in the skies. So yes, I completely agree. You know, whatever this is or, we're at, or, or certain things are being tested in certain places, but a lot of stuff is just very strange. So I figured I'd ask you guys and say, you know, how you feeling today? How's your energy? You know, how's your energy after the solstice? You know, there's this, this energy after the solstice is interesting too. It's like the energy is kind of tapered off. I've actually seen this on social media. It's almost like everybody's disappeared, which I think is really interesting. The solstice peaked up at the energy at the full moon, and then all of a sudden everybody's kind of disappeared from social media. And somebody said, I'm tired and so are so many of my friends. Yeah. So you had the end of the solstice and the end of the full moon at the same time, and it seems to just have dropped off. And even today, I mean, if you look at how many people are in here, you know, there's, there's not that many people in here today, which I think is interesting. Let me just click this. Yeah. So there's not that many people in here today, which is interesting because usually in a live, we got a lot more people. But somebody did just say, let me see this one. I saw this one. I've heard about the sunflowers not facing the sun. This is an interesting one. Now, I was just reading this book, Metal Power, by Allison Davidson. And there's a part in here. Let me see if I can find it real fast just for two seconds. But there's a part in here about the sunflowers. And it's about Jupiter. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Because this kind of helps me explain things. I think that there's so much going on on our, on our, our realm. Hold on one second. Oh, here we go. It says Jupiter, tin, and the sunflowers. And it says that the, there are studies that have showed that the forces in tin were strongest during the midsummer, June, July, August, when they had the greatest light in the atmosphere. And it talks about how the sunflowers, that they, they would face Jupiter. They were following around Jupiter. So when there's all these videos going around right now where the sunflowers are not facing towards the sun, they're facing a different direction. And this book talks about how they're facing Jupiter. So, you know, there's a lot of things happening in our skies, you know, with the, the fractals and frequencies and calendars that are above us, and we don't even connect to this. And I think part of this, whatever is going on, part of this frequency that's being emitted and the nonsense that people are, fa are, are, are facing, the, uh, the part that's coming with that is that there's something also going on like in a calendar timeline above, above us in the sky. But we can't see it because they block out, you know, everything that's going on in the sky all the time with all the, the chemtrails and clouds and things like that. So, you know, when we really look at our realm, it's very hard to determine what is going on. And somebody just said, my sunflowers are facing the ground. So let's say Jupiter is below the horizon, because that's what we've talked about before, everything below the horizon then that's where the sunflowers are facing. They will follow Jupiter. You'll see them just start to follow Jupiter. But that's the thing, when you get into the seven sacred metals and you get into these precious metals that are in the earth and all around us and are used all the time, you start to connect to also calendars, you start to connect to astrology, you start to connect to zodiacs, you start to get into Vedic astrology, you start to get into all these timelines. You know, and if you think of like back in the day, with the prophets and all the different people who were giving predictions, they were giving predictions based on astrology. They would look up into the sky and say, okay, this is what's going to happen based on this timeline. So, you know, when we think about it, we've been disconnected. We have our frequencies being altered by this, this chemical nonsense. 
And then also, too, all these towers and things. I was actually just looking up yesterday. I didn't even know this existed. 6G. There's Wi-Fi 6. And the 6G or 6, uh, this new Hertz, 6, 6, 6 gigahertz. And they're going to use untested frequencies. And they were testing all these new frequencies. So what people could be suffering from, like myself and other people at this time, is when they're testing all these additional frequencies all the time, right? New frequencies, new wavelengths, new things, all that. They mess up a selected group of people. Similar to 2020, when they were rolling out 5G and that whole situation, certain people were affected, losing their sense of smell, taste. They're, they're getting nauseous. They were having hair loss. So now, whatever's being tested today clearly is affecting me. And I never really get affected by anything, but I definitely can say something is being tested. That's for sure. And like I said, there's a lot of things of people that are reporting, which are weird things, you know, a lot of weird things. That's for sure. The towers are everywhere. These workers have to shut them down or they get really sick, really awful stuff. Yeah. I mean, when you get into this, I had a buddy reach out who actually told me how he stopped working on those towers because every time he'd work on them, he'd get sick, but they say they're safe. You know, they're like, oh, they're perfectly safe and effective and whatever else. But you know, when it comes to it, with, when they roll out these new frequencies and they roll out these new technologies, they mess with our circadian rhythm, you know, or the Schumann resonance. And that's the other weird thing. I was telling, I was telling my friend Jill at Good Living Greens about how it feels like they're turning off the Schumann resonance. And I don't know if you guys feel this. It feels like there were three days, and they were the last couple days, where the Schumann resonance has been completely turned off. It almost feels like something's missing in your heart, almost kind of like you're missing a beat. And, you know, with whatever they're doing, when they're messing with the frequencies, and even here you had Musk trying to send rockets over here in Arizona, sending rockets and that whole thing. But, you know, they're messing with stuff, you know, they're altering the frequency of the earth. And as somebody just said, they fake the northern lights. They're doing a lot of things with these frequencies, yes. And that's the other thing, when the northern lights came out and that whole thing, and people were like, oh my gosh, I could see them in Florida, you know, they're, they're, they're making artificial northern lights. So, you know, when you're messing with all these frequencies and you're just barraging the sky and you're barraging the terrain with frequencies, certain people are going to get impacted. And as Belinda just said, it's not germs. Yes, there's no germs. The germs are not jumping all over. You know, the germ didn't jump and get me while I was in my, in my place. You know, it didn't come and get me and, and then gather all over me and then come all over, like, you know, whatever. It, it just, yeah. That's the story of the Rockefellers. But Rockefellers also had the electricity and that whole situation. And then you got cell phone towers and radios and telegraphs and all the other stuff. Marconi's garbage technology. So those things definitely impact us. And the book, The Invisible Rainbow, I highly recommend everybody check out. And then also check out this book, Metal Power, The Soul Life of Planets by Alice, Allison Davidson. And just a great read, easy read. This one's only, this is 88 pages. You know, this is a nice simple one. But that's the thing, like there's a lot of great information in which you can find. You don't have to always read a book that has, you know, 300, 400 pages. You can go through some shorter ones. And, and Borderlands, Borderland Research, their website is awesome. You know, people are looking for books. I always have people asking, where can I find books? Where can I find, you know, information? Look at Borderlands Research. They're out of California. They're phenomenal. They're absolutely phenomenal. They got so many books. You got books, they'll print them for you and everything else. So they're really good. And then somebody was asking The Invisible Rainbow. Yes, that's the name of the book. By Arthur Fistenberg. It's a great book. It goes into frequencies, goes into electricity, goes into radio frequencies, goes into all the nonsense that they try to, you know, put out there. And how the other part, you know, I think that's important for people to realize is how illness has just keep going like this. You know, you haven't seen illness go down like this. You've seen illness just go this way. And that's because as you introduce new frequencies and test things, you know, it messes things up. But I got some ideas. I got an idea for a lawsuit soon, actually, with this stuff. And I got an idea with that. So I think I'm going to work. I'm going to figure out how to get that going and everything else. And maybe it'll be something across the country. We'll see, but there's a lot of stuff that I've been thinking about. And then I'm also gonna do some testing soon 
with some uh, different orgone devices and the book Luma of the Future. If you guys haven't checked out Luma of the Future by Trevor James Constable, I'm actually going to be testing out a lot of his devices soon and seeing what I can do with that. And it's interesting because weather modification, this is funny, weather modification is actually like a misdemeanor. So they can modify the skies, but if we're modifying the sky, right? Like, like, like trying to clean it up, that's considered a misdemeanor. That's how silly this realm really is when you think about it. Like you as the person are like, oh, I'm gonna try to counter this. Meanwhile, they're just barrage in the skies, you know, making it cloudy and rain and things like that. And that's not, a, that's not the problem, but the person trying to figure it out, misdemeanor, which is funny. Somebody said, I love my cloud busters and my earth pies. That's amazing. Hey, you can look into Mitch, the orgone donor, great soul, so much information. Look into Loom of the Future by Trevor James Constable. Awesome book. If you guys didn't know, Trevor James Constable was the guy who cleared up the smog in California in the 1980s. So he's a great soul to look into. He cleaned up all the skies using etheric weather engineering. He started understanding how you could utilize all these different techniques and clear up the air. Now, obviously, they're not going to tell anybody that because that competes with their system. And that's also part of why they put Wilhelm Reich in jail originally. He went to jail originally because he was countering this stuff. 1950s, 1952, 1955, weather modification became very, very going like crazy. And Wilhelm Reich was at the forefront of countering that. Then you have Trevor James Constable who worked for the U.S. Navy. And that's the thing, they usually pay somebody who's under their little umbrella. So that's where Trevor James Constable and he was doing all his work. So people should look into both of them and see these things. Let me see, somebody just said something in my own. Sorry about it. Start down the pearl powder and the shield shot. Pearl powder is magical, you know, when you get it into the water minerals or hydrating the body, healing all the connective tissue, healing the eyes, healing the hair, the skin, the nails. Pearl powder, magical. All the magnesium carbonate in there, healing the body like crazy. And then Shilajat, you got 84 of 102 minerals and everything that is loaded with fulvic acid to help pull everything up. So those two combinations I think are just amazing because you have water minerals over here and you have land minerals over here and now you're mixing them together. So Shilajat and Pearl, great combination put together, but just to heal the body and help nourish the body because that's what we're missing. We're missing nutrients, that's what it is. We're nutrient deficient. They're spraying all this garbage all over the plants and then cooking them with frequencies and fake light bulbs and growing things with fake light bulbs. Got no nutrients. So Shilajia, Pearl, gets those nutrients coming back. I've been doing Pearl for a year and my mom is 76 and just started. That is amazing. And that's the thing is we've had so many people where they've tried Pearl and they've given it to their mom or their dad or their brother and their sister and same exact results. I mean, that's, it's wild because we're just missing minerals. Like when it really comes down to it, a lot of the times the body is just craving. It's like, it's almost like crying out, you know, to get certain minerals. And once those minerals come back in, things heal like that, especially with eyesight. Because if you think about it, you know, your eyes, they require structured water, number one. They require 25% of your nutrition, number two. If you don't use them, they start to fall apart because you're not using them to go left, right, side, and move in all different directions. And then if we don't feed them the correct minerals, then the eyes begin to fall apart. And when you go to the professional, which is always funny as we've talked about, you get these thicker and thicker glasses and all of a sudden you've got these massive just like binoculars on your face. And you've never addressed the root cause, which was just cleaning up your diet, using them again. And also too, the other one that's big is LED lights. Getting rid of LED lights, because they will just mess with the eyes. And also they emit radio frequencies, which cook the eyes. So somebody just asked about light bulbs. When it comes to light bulbs, you can go to 1000bulbs.com. You can get yourself incandescents and you can get yourself halogens. You should not have any LEDs in your home they are light emitting diodes. They are the street lamps. The street lamps you see are coming into your home. And they also connect to Agenda 2030 and the Internet of Things. You can hook up Wi-Fi to light bulbs. Stuff gets really weird. So you don't want to bring any of that in your house. They are also linked to seizures. The blue light is toxic and they're linked to cataracts. 
So stick to incandescents and halogens. You can find them on 1000bulbs.com and just go over there and just order a bunch and take care of your house and just stock up. That's what I did. I just ordered a whole box and I got light bulbs for life, you know, and they're not even expensive. They're, it's funny because a lot of people ask me about red light therapy and they're like, what do you think about red light therapy? Well, you need an incandescent or a halogen for the red light therapy. Otherwise, you have a light emitting diode, which is emitting radio frequencies, so it's pinging a radio at your face the entire time, and it can't even, it's creating the color red. It's actually not even giving off the infrared because it's an LED, and these wavelengths just totally mess with our whole body. So you wanna to stick to incandescent or halogen, but you can find those on 1,000 bulbs, and they're like 90 cents. You get a little red Christmas light, it's like 90 cents. So you don't gotta spend $10,000 on some LED panel that's like blasting you with radio frequencies the entire time. You just get some incandescents or halogens and they'll cost you a couple bucks. Simple solutions that should not cost more than a couple bucks. One thousand bulbs.com, yes, that is correct. And if you're like me that I live in California, have to ship to a friend or go out of state, I found a few light bulbs at Ace Hardware before they banned. Yes, if you are living in the state of California or even in Canada or parts of the UK and Europe, then you will have to have a friend ship you light bulbs because these light bulbs known as incandescents or halogens are illegal. They don't ban the drugs. They don't ban the, you know, the things that are actually impacting people's health. Light bulbs. And raw milk, actually. Raw milk is banned in a lot of places, too. You know, the milk is dangerous. That's what they say. But the drugs and all the other stuff that they allow and the agenda and, you know, LG, whatever nonsense, all of that is still pushed. But light bulbs and raw milk, dangerous combo. Had to go to the DMV, sat there for two hours under those lights and got a headache. I could see that. You know, those lights, they're just pinging. And, and the thing is, is LEDs are like a strobe light. You know, that, that's what you're underneath and they will tire you out. And it's, it's, this has been shown so many times with wavelengths. Like Dr. John Ott, Health and Light, he explained that when a child sits underneath a fluorescent bulb, a child cannot focus. He actually showed this to the U.S. government in the 1960s and 1970s. He presented all of this. He said also how TVs are emitting x-rays, which are harming children. He presented all of this, and they did absolutely nothing. Every single time that Dr. John Ott tried to propose this to show people that lights can impact your mind, your ability to focus, your brain, all of that, it was all shot down. He also showed that when food is sitting underneath fluorescent bulbs, it can diminish its nutritional value by up to 90%. So, I don't know if you guys have seen all of these videos where they're going to the grocery store and they buy like a watermelon and it falls apart. They buy like a banana and it's turning into plastic. Well, when you combine LED lights, which are giving an artificial frequency, which is altering the food, and then you're 5Ging the grocery store, it's sucking the, the water out of the food and it's gonna fall apart and collapse because you're destroying the structure of the food. And I've seen these videos all over the place. People have been sending me where they're like grabbing a watermelon and it just falls apart. They're touching a banana, it looks like plastic. That's because these frequencies from this new technology, which just recently rolled out, and all these lights, which are synced up to, that, to the same frequency, are diminishing the food. So that's why it's so important. I tell people all the time, if you were buying groceries, Go to places that are small, go collect from a farmer, make sure there's not a lot of transportation. You know, these, these stores, you don't know how long it's traveled, the frequencies, da 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 da. And it, it's, it's, it's like a, a, a month of a game. And then by that time, you might not have any nutrients. And I just say that because there's so many videos going on where I see this fake food and it's just falling apart. And it's because the frequencies and the lights are completely messing with the food system. So now imagine what happens when you eat it, you know? Like now imagine, just sweating like crazy, I'm sorry. <laughs> just look down, there's puddles of sweat. But now imagine what happens when you eat that. 
Now imagine what happens when that goes into your body. It disintegrates the structure of your body. And I did a whole thing on watermelons, and that got censored, talking about eating the seeds, you know, that whole thing, because obviously social media doesn't like any of that. But, you know, just eating the seeds, the structure, the life force, the creation that's in those seeds. You know, that's another one. And we're told to have seedless foods, which don't make a lot of sense. Because when in nature, are there no seeds? You can't find things to grow if you don't have seeds. And it was interesting because in the book I was reading, Murder by Injection with Eustace Mullins, he was talking about how they, how, this is great, GMO is fake. That's actually what he said. He explained about how GMO is actually fake. And what they did was they took plants and they breeded them so many times together with, with a plant that cannot produce its own seed. And when they mix them up together so many times, now they have these plants which are dependent. They, they're, they're like mules. They can't have babies. So you have these plants now that have to, you have to keep just getting these seeds and these seeds and these seeds and these seeds. And that's Monsanto. That's the GMO situation. So if that plant cannot create life, it cannot create life in you as well too. And it's going to mess with your hormones, mess with your fertility, mess with your man parts, your lady parts, whatever that may be. Because now you're not eating that essence of life force energy that is supposed to be coming from the plants. It's wild. So GMOs, it's all fake. Genes, fake. You know, germs, fake. You know, a lot of stories, a lot of funny things. A lot of Rockefeller funny made up terms to keep us confused all the time. The confusion is a part of MK Ultra. You confuse the people so much so that they believe any fairy tale that you make up. You just make up a new term. You're like, I'm going to call this GMO. And then people are like, oh, GMO, what's a GMO? And then you, you just start putting it all over the place until people start believing it. But there's no genes. There's no GMOs. There's just messing with nature until you're trying to control it. And then, and then you're patting it. That's what it is. Jackie says it's because California is amazing. Yes, California is upgrading. They just uh, raised the minimum wage to $20 by the forceful government. That's what happened the other day, you know, so they're upgrading. Uh, Newsom also said that people are moving out because of climate change, which I thought was really funny. That's actually what he said. Not the policies that he's instilling onto the people and the tyranny and like all the things he's letting happen there. None of that. It's clearly climate change. It's, he said it was atmospheric rain bombs that were actually causing people to leave. That's what he said. This is how dumb these, these, these politicians, puppets, whatever you want to call them, MK Ultra, little talking heads are, uh, are. That's pretty much what it comes down to. It. Because if you're saying that because it was raining outside, that's why people were leaving, then you are clearly just delusional. I mean, you shouldn't even be, you shouldn't, we, we should lock you up, actually. Now, when you think about it, they always try to talk about we, they need to lock us up. No, no, no. They, we need to lock them up. That's for sure. Like, they need to be put in some sort of thing. Because when you think about that, you're telling me the rain is why people are leaving? Hmm. It's not the taxes. No, no. And it's not the policies. It's the rain. The, the little couple, couple drips, you know, that came last year. It's comical. Goldilocks says, I love my pearl powder. My hair is so long. Well, my hair was long and I cut it, but yes, your hair will grow like crazy. That's for sure. The pearl powder, just feeding the hair, feeding the connective tissues, feeding all these beautiful connective tissues and the hair and the hairline and everything else. And that's the thing. If you don't have nutrients, the hair falls apart. The nails fall apart. The skin falls apart. It's all the same connective tissue. Pearl powder fixes it like that. Jackie says, because LEDs save energy and are supposed to drive the smart cars. Oh, this is great. The, the, the best part about the electric vehicle is we're trying to save energy. Okay, that's what they tell us. But we're going to use electric vehicles, which require two to three times more energy. That's what they say. And then we're going to use LEDs when the oldest, longest standing light bulb is an incandescent, the Centennial bulb in California. So they tell you that this is going to do this, but in reality, those are not the things. Or how about this? California just proposed, and they're talking about it, a 30 cents per mile tax 
on every electric vehicle. Didn't see that one coming because they're not getting the gas tax anymore. Now they got to come up with different taxes. People thought they were going to get out of taxes because they were going green. Also, they proposed, which I thought was really interesting, that they don't want to push solar panels anymore. So they gave people tax incentives to get them onto the solar panels. Now they're having rolling blackouts. So now they're trying to say that we need to get them away from solar panels. But they were at the forefront of the solar panel. Do you see how this goes? It doesn't seem very green. It kinda, it's kind of it's like you're guessing. It's almost like a guessing game. You're like, you know what? If you just do this, it's going to save you whatever. Well, what happened if it doesn't? Ah, just let's figure it out. We'll figure it out later. After we destroy Mother Earth. After we rip it up and take all the materials out of it. That's green. Green. Green, green, green. Not like these green trees outside. No, 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 no. That's green. That's green in money, if you think about it. Big, big dollar bills. Those are green dollar bills that they're cashing in on. So that's the whole thing. What about infrared saunas? Mine has a light panel above that changes colors. That sounds like LEDs. And I would go with an incandescent or a halogen. Or if you could get a wood burning sa a sauna, that would be another great one too. You know, the, 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 any, if it's got smart technology and you could change things and do all kinds of stuff, it's probably LEDs. You know, and it, the other thing too, there should be heat coming off of there as well. A lot of LEDs, there's no heat. There's no heat at all. And they, they, can't, they can't emit heat. So, you know, the whole point of sauna is to get the heat and the infrared and all of those hues. So, you know, look into in, in, incandescent, halogen, or a, a wood, you can get a wood burning sauna and sit in there. It's nice and toasty. Twisting the avocado like Play Doh. Well, actually, I've seen that, actually. They twist the avocado because the food is so messed up. I've seen that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's going to save us. You know, and that's the thing. You think about these the, the, the political puppets, they never talk about that. They never talk about the billions of pesticides that are running off into the Gulf of Mexico. They never say that. But they're like the gasoline car that you've been driving that we forced you to drive because there's no other options because we banned all of them. Like the water car of 1976, Tesla's ether, ether car of 1943, the hemp car of 1920s. We banned all those, but it's definitely your gas-powered car because we only gave you that choice. You know, so it's your fault. That's basically what they try to say. It's your fault. And that the whole green movement, it's your fault. What are you talking about? There's no other choices. You created the Invention Secrecy Act of 1951 to get rid of all of the choices and eliminate them or kill them off. And then now you try to blame the people that the climate narrative of you spraying the skies is my gas car. Did I get that right? I think that's what it is. That's, that's kind of what it is. You know, that spray the skies, put my gas cars. That's, that's what it is. It's the gas car. That's green. Emma Jenkins says, I just saw a video on YouTube with rubbery watermelons and avocados. Yeah, and stuff gets weird, you know, and that's the frequencies. Frequencies can change anything. Think of salt. You know, if you take salt and you put it on, on top of a piece of wood and you vibrate it with a frequency, you'll see all these things start changing. You'll see all these different images start changing and you'll see all these fractals and frequency. So if you've got those frequencies and, and fractals hitting the food and you've got food, which is structured water, and all of a sudden now being destructured, it's going to start to turn almost like, you know, into Play-Doh. That's what's happening. This food is turning into Play-Doh because it's being... It, it's, it's, remo it's removing the structure. And it's wild because the grocery stores are going to be like, oh, we can't figure it out. We can't figure it out. We just upgraded all these lights and used Wi-Fi. And it's like, what are you talking about? Just use common sense. What did you change and go back to what you used to have before that? That's it. And your food will be good. <laughs> like, that's it. Turn off your LEDs so you don't sweat. Oh, a little chipmunk running down there. No, I'm sweating like crazy. Honestly, it's, it's toasty up here. I got to get my fan. Fan's got to get installed. It's, remodeling takes a long time. It's always been, everybody always asks about what's going on in the, in the place and blah, blah, blah. Long time remodel. It takes a long time and now it's so hot, it just can't do anything. And there was supposed to be a fan that we we're going to put up. 
is what it is, but you just can't do any remodeling when it's 110 and there's, there's snakes outside. So, you know, you don't want, you don't want a snake in your house. That's for sure. It's, it's a very different thing. I'll take my chances. I'll sweat it out, you know, and horses too. I've been filming all the horses, which are funny. The horses are adorable. Food straight from the garden is amazing. Sun energy. Yes, that's what we should be doing. And you know, I've talked about this multiple times with electroculture and the importance of growing our own food so we're connected and we understand what's going on. The energy that transfers from plant to, to human, you know, the connection that's there. But, you know, when we're going to the grocery store, a lot of that's eliminated. You know, a lot of that has been eliminated from us. You know, you're picking things out, you're feeling them and squeezing them, but you don't know what's going on on the inside. You don't know how the plant's grown. You don't know if they sprayed it. You know, a lot of times you go to like a, a deli, they spray the meat, you know, they make it pink. Most people don't know, they spray the meat to make it pink. So like you think you're like, oh, I'm getting the best meat. And then you see it's all brown and rotten on the inside. You know, they're gonna do what they're gonna do to sell it, especially in this inflated economy, AKA the Federal Reserve, just messing with the whole economy, like every other time this has happened. And this is another one too, you know, we, we hear this word all the time inflation and inflation you see it everywhere it's the federal reserve the federal reserve jacks up interest rates and then everybody borrows money at a higher premium or has to pay back more money and then all of a sudden they got to raise the prices on everything that they have because the federal reserve dictates the economy the federal reserve also dictates who's going to be president the federal reserve runs the whole country you know you get into the secrets of the federal reserve by eustace mullins you start to see how much control a private organization has over the entire country. And there was the whole thing the other day with the debate, which was just a circus. That's Federal Reserve. Two people from the Federal Reserve duking it out, yelling at each other and talking about how they're going to play golf. Secrets of the Federal Reserve, owned in both sides. And Eustace Mullins has a great quote where he explained that no billionaire is going to go against the Federal Reserve. They're always going to be in policies or in favor of policies for the Federal Reserve because they get a kickback from printing money, credit, just printing like crazy. That's the story of the whole 100 years since 1913 and the creation of the Federal Reserve by Woodrow Wilson and all of the scummy people who started that whole thing. Lori says revolt. They can shut your car down. Yeah, the electric vehicle thing is funny. They just push a button and your car turns off. And you only have a limited range. You know, I actually showed a picture yesterday from 1898 of electric cars that use mercury arc rectifiers. And it's interesting. Those could have a very long range. But this stuff now, push a button, turn off all of a sudden your car. Push a button, maybe turn off your bank account. Whatever it may be. You know, that's what people don't understand. Like even crypto and and digital currencies and all this like, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna free us. No, 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 no. Let's be real. Agenda 2030 is where they wanna control everything. They wanna control your money. They wanna control how, how much you breathe. They wanna control where you go, where you fly, where you travel, things that you do on the daily basis. So why would that be freedom if you're gonna move into a system in which you push a button and your money goes away? It doesn't challenge the Federal Reserve. It actually just gives the Federal Reserve more power. They already push a button and they make money. Like that's it. They just boop and all of a sudden boop, 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 boop. All the money appears. Credit just appears. So same with the digital currency. You just kind of move into the same exact thing as the electric vehicle movement control. And they just, they, they rebrand it. They get these celebrities who come out like Leonardo DiCaprio and all these other MK Ultra people. And they're like, you need this. It's going to save us. And people are like, oh, okay, it's definitely going to save us. Then they rent an electric vehicle and they're like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. And they realize that it's not going to save them from anything. If anything, if it snows or even if there's like a little windstorm, you know, the car can't work. But, or the batteries start on fire. That's a big one. People are sitting in the, in the cars in their house and pff, batteries all up in fire, whole house on fire. That's why they sell that too. It's much easier to get rid of people or depopulate with electric vehicles because you can't put out the fire. The firemen come and they're like, I'm not touching that. So it's important to be aware of that whole thing. 
And people can look into Agenda 2030, you can look into all the people who talk about it, and all their little plans that they try to push. And I'm not about any of that stuff, at all. Because it doesn't make any sense, sorry my book's getting all wet, it doesn't make any sense to put myself into a situation in which I will be controlled on every aspect. If anything, I want the opposite. I want people to grow their own food, have their own water, have their own source of energy, you know? I mean, that's, that's the way to go. Because it doesn't make any sense to be controlled in that fashion. And we should be researching these things. And Kyle just said down here, Kyle Ann, cutting down the Joshua trees. Yeah, they're gonna cut down the Joshua trees to put up solar panels. So they're going to destroy nature to put up a synthetic panel which is going to fall apart and then pollute the desert while they cut down 200 to 300 year old Joshua trees. Doesn't sound too climate friendly. Where are all those climate people? You know, the ones who are like taping themselves to cars. Remember that? They were like taping themselves to cars and, and, and like putting handcuffs around themselves on the bridge. Remember that? They're like, stop the, the carbon. The carbon is, is going to get us. It's like, where are you now? Because you don't really care. Because you really never cared in the first place. You were paid actors. That's what they always are. They're paid actors. The climate people, you know, even stuff with the crazy protests, all kinds of stuff. Paid actors, that's what it is. And same thing when you go for like the walking for the solution for an illness. You know, they're like, do you want to walk for, the, for, the, for this illness and, and donate $5? Paid actors, that's who's walking with you. Paid actors, that's it, it's not real people. They just come out of the woodwork. They go on Craigslist, they type it in and they're like, okay, we'll give you $50 if you do this and da 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 and follow this program and da 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 da. And then they just show up, they get money. And when you print money from the Federal Reserve, you can keep just transferring wealth to different people and keep giving them money. And then they just can keep doing what you say until you realize, hmm, maybe this doesn't make any sense, you know? Maybe this whole thing that I'm kind of going against doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe there's something else. Used to smoke. Someone said 100% paid, especially Neil deGrasse. Yeah, that guy's another one. I think that's that, that's that science guy. He's like Bill Nye. Remember Bill Nye, the science guy? You go to Wikipedia and it says actor. He's not actually a, a, a science guy. He's actually not even scientific. He's just an actor. They paid him while we were in the Rockefeller schools to make us believe all the narrative. That's who Bill Nye, the science guy is. Trusting the science. Remember that whole thing? He's an actor. They're all actors. And they're just brainwashing you while you're young. So you're like, oh, I love Bill Nye. You know, he's telling me about how we're going to the moon. Even though Buzz Aldrin said we never went. But Bill Nye told me. Bill Nye's up there. And then now all of a sudden when you need some climate nonsense or science to back you, you know, like you need to take 75 boosters so that you can be safe. Bill Nye will come out and be like, oh, I got 85 boosters and now I'm fixed. It's like, no, dude, you're an actor. You're an actor. You're all actors. And if you don't understand it, you believe it. And people are like, oh, Bill Nye told me. I better go get 85 more of these. <laughs> I better go and stick these heavy metals into my body again. That's, that's going to fix me. Now, I'm not going to address the root cause, you know. But as people said, Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill, Bill, but Bill, Bill. That's it. Bill Nye and Billy G. We know him. You know, Billy G is always on a mission to try to feed us fake foods. Guy's not even in shape, you know? He's in horrible shape. He looks absolutely horrible. And he's trying to give health advice and trying to tell people the same thing. You need like 85 boosters. You know, we can't be too safe out there. Guy doesn't even work out. He doesn't even eat healthy. He doesn't even eat healthy or work out. And he's gonna tell people about advice for being healthy. You know, that, that's like, it's, it's crazy. And so, you know, you got to look at this stuff and go, hmm, you know, does this make sense? Who's giving the advice? You know, that's for sure. It's too funny. Is there anything true that they shove down our throats? Not really. You know, when you get into it, you can see all the lies. And that's the thing, we're lied to on the regular basis. We're lied to so many times that we can't even tell it's a lie, okay? This, this is the greatest one. Like you think of World War II and you think of Europa, the last battle, the documentary that every person should read and every person should watch. 
That is a very powerful documentary because we've been lied to about every single thing. And what's one of the biggest lies you ever hear? World War II and what allegedly happened during World War II. But the documentary, Europa, The Last Battle, really shows you another side. But they can't show that side because that side competes with what we have today. That's why they lie so much. Because once you figure out one of the lies, everything else you start to see. It's like a house of cards. It all begins to fall. And all of a sudden you start to go, hmm, okay, if they lied to me about World War II, maybe they lied to me about the moon landing. Then you see they lied to you about the moon landing. Then you go, hmm, maybe when the Rockefellers took over the medical system with the Flexner report, maybe they made up germ theory. Oh, they did. And you start to see all these lies and you can't unsee it. So they spend millions of dollars on brainwashing, propaganda, over and over and over again to make people believe it. And they just keep putting it up. They own all the media and they just keep putting it up until people believe it. But the fun part is, and it's so great, and I see it every single day, is people are waking up. They're over it. They're completely over it. I see it all the time, every day. People are sick of being sick. People are sick of being this. People are sick of being that. And that's what will only continue. That's why now they're talking about how they want to ban the internet. You see like TikTok bans and social media maybe bans and censorship and even me censored like no other every single day. But you see all of this because so much truth is coming out that they don't know what to do because they're starting to go, oh, wait a minute. They're not using the internet to watch Netflix anymore. No, 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 no. They're using the internet to connect. They're using the internet to create communities. They're using the internet to connect to their local farmer. They're using the internet to look at primary water and the unlimited water that's underneath our feet so that they don't believe that we're running out of water, that electric vehicles are a scam. You know, the internet's just kind of debunking it all. And that's what's happening at such a fast pace. So that's a threat to their little system, which needs to keep you in a bubble. That's all it is. Try to keep you in a bubble and try to control every aspect. But when it comes to these lies, they're pushed so heavily so that people can believe them. And there are NPCs out there. We've talked about this. You know, I don't know, 94% of people out there may be NPCs. And they're just like, oh, okay, you know. Oh, they're going to Mars. Oh, okay. We're going back to the moon. Oh, Channing Tatum's coming out with a new movie with the moon. Oh, okay. Got it. NPC, non-playable character is what that is. They just agree and they just go with the plan. And then there's all these other people. There's this percentage over here, which are just like, eh, I don't think I believe any of that anymore. And they've kind of broken, if you want to get into it, like broken their little like severance of, if you want to get into like the movie Matrix, like the severance. And all of a sudden now they're here, like existing. And they're like, oh my gosh, now I'm in the Truman Show, you know, because that's what we're in every single day. It's like the Truman Show. But the cool part is, is through the lies and through the nonsense, people are waking up and they're over it. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And through all the censorship, because I've been censored probably, I mean, even this, like every time I post now, even on my other page, it's just broken. It gets two views and two likes. Even through it, because I've been putting my information everywhere, it keeps spreading and people are finding it. And that's the most important part. It will only continue to happen. People will only keep finding the truth because they are sick of these platforms that are censoring them. And Zuckerberg, if you're watching this right now, really don't care. I'm just going to keep using your platform and keep speaking and keep putting the information out there because I could care less. We got Telegram. We got Rumble. We got Twitter. We got Facebook. We got TikTok. We got all these things. Odyssey, BitChute, you know, Rockfin. You can name them all. There's all these different things now. So you don't get to hold the control. And once you keep trying to control... People just leave and they don't come back. I had a lot of people on Telegram who've left and they've never came back to Instagram. They just say goodbye. So, toodaloo. Sam says the US has the most sick people in here because of the sellout professionals and legalized propaganda. Yeah, 100%. I mean, they're just, they're, you know, in another country, if you harm somebody as a professional, they put you to death or they put you in jail. Like in, for example, Asia, if you do that, they'll put you to death. There's no, they don't even mess around. Like you're harming the people. Here, here's a check. Here's a four to 6% commission check. 
Here's another check. Here's another check. That's what's going on. So people aren't even doing any like of, of helping or assisting or treating, whatever you want to say, because they're just getting paid off. You know, these, these pill pushing companies are just paying all these people off and they got them in their pocket. But a lot of people are leaving that industry too. That's another funny one. A lot of people have gone, you know what? This industry is not for me anymore. I'm going to go somewhere else. And that's, you're going to see that more often. People are going to start their own private things and their own firms and things like that because they don't want to be part of that. I joined Instagram for photos. Now they push reels. Same with YouTube. Yeah. You know, Instagram is just wild when you get into it. You know, I mean, I, I remember when I used to do photos and I do like little pictures and things like that. Or like back in the day, you know, Facebook, when it started, you put your pictures up of like all your friend, family and friends and things like that. Now, now it's changed, you know, and they just did it. They did what other platforms did because they need to follow along. Otherwise they're behind, you know, Instagram copied TikTok if you're going to get into it because TikTok was blowing up and Instagram was losing market share. And these companies are all about how much market share. Now, because of the censorship on Instagram, I think they've lost a lot of people and I think they don't even know what to do anymore. They still fact check me. I still get fact checked, which is funny, on watermelon seeds and things like that. But they're losing a lot of people. So they're, they're trying to do things. And same with YouTube. YouTube's lost a lot of people, but they've kind of just stopped censoring. And I think that's because People are leaving to rumble and go other ways. So there is a shift happening. You just will never hear about it. That's for sure. They will never, ever tell you there is a shift happening. Because if they said it one time on, you know, public television, oh my God, it'd probably create a revolution. People would be like, wait, what? What do you mean everybody's leaving Instagram? I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. It'd be like snapping the finger. <laughs> Jackie says, NPCs smoking their GMO cannabis. Yes, that's a big one. I mean, all the, the cannabis when you get into this, that's all GMO. That's Monsanto. That's, that's, that's Monsanto's little poison right there. People are just smoking that up, and that's got aluminum going up into the brain. But, yeah, that's part of the NPC. NPC is they're giving people the vice to control them. You know, whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs, whether it's this, whether it's that, it's to control the people. And they're giving them GMO or, or, or poisonous, you know, substances to control them. They're trying to control every aspect of them. So when you get into NPCs and that old thing, yes, they're definitely hitting a GMO can cannabis, that's for sure. Someone said Mars, Nevada. That's the best. Yeah, that's the best one. They're like, I I'm going to Mars. Yeah, you're going right to Las Vegas. You're just going to go like an hour north. Yeah, and then you're going to film it. And then you're going to jump around on a trampoline and then like drive a little rover through. And then be like, psh, psh, we're going through Mars. You hear, psh, you know, or they're like underwater. They're like, okay, guys, we're underwater now. Let's simulate that we're over in Mars right now and on the moon. Okay, guys, get Channing Tatum. Get Channing Tatum in right now. We need Channing. If you don't bring in Channing, it's not going to be believable. Okay, all right, here we got Channing. We're underwater. Okay, film Mars. Wait for the sunset. Chemtrail the sky. All right, they'll believe it. They'll totally believe it. Okay, put it out. Flip it, edit it, increase the saturation. Boom, we got it. That's what we deal with. They spend billions of dollars doing exactly what I just said while trying to tell people they're going to space. You know, going somewhere. You're not going anywhere. I hate to break it to you. I hate to tell you, Bill Nye, the science guy, you're not going anywhere. It's a funny story, but you're not going anywhere. After over a year of vertigo and hormonal issues, Shilajah Dragon's Dragonsblood and Pearl are helping my body heal itself. I'm happy to hear that. I mean, that's the whole point. Every superfood that has been created by Cultivate Elevate is just here to help heal meridian lines and bring us back into balance. That's it. And vertigo, dizziness, I know how that goes. I've had it myself. You know, you, you go too much in a store and all of a sudden you're spinning and just can't even function because of LED lights. And then hormonal, issue, it, it, hormonal issues, Shilajad is great for that. Balancing, the, balancing out those hormones. And that's, you know, this, this is all sticking to nature. Nature comes with no side effects. You don't have to worry about some weird thing. You know, you take this and all of a sudden your, your arm falls off. You know, you don't got to worry about that. You just get all the beautiful benefits. And that's why I love nature. That's for sure. So. 
posted in there. Oh, it's all well known. There we go. Let me see. Oh my gosh. My husband's co worker smokes GMO cannabis and can help a customer for five hours. And the minute they walk out the door, they already forgot the customer and what they talked about. That's what that is. It's aluminum. It's aluminum going up into the brain. And then they got memory loss. And aluminum is very toxic. And that stuff is laced with it. All the pesticides, aluminum, just dousing it with aluminum. So, yeah, people need to be aware. It's not given to you to help you. That's for sure. And it's legal for that reason. They're like, oh, you know, they're going to try to get it themselves. Well, we could give it to them. Don't worry about it. They're going to try to grow it in their house and maybe make it organic. No, 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 no. We'll just put it out on the street corner and then they can go purchase it. That's how that game goes. Matt, is there a better time to take Pearl Powder, Shilajot, and Dragon's Blood? So when you're taking Shilajot, I could take it in the AM. As soon as you wake up to kind of break your fast and kind of get things going, take it with a source of fat so you can help detox and get things going. Dragon's Blood can also be taken upon waking. Very, very good. Once you wake up, take some Dragon's Blood, cleanse out that system, get the stomach going as well. And then Pearl Powder, you could usually take before bed because there's magnesium carbonate in it, so it will allow the body to relax. So you can use pearl powder before bed. You can also take pearl powder, place it on the eyes with castor oil before you go to sleep. So that pearl and castor can absorb right in through the eyes. But those would be the best times. I have taken pearl during the day. If I got ever too kind of like just jacked up, you know, too much whatever's going on frequency, I'll do some pearl during the day. But for the most part, I always take it before bed because you just sleep like a baby. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's like you just take the pearl and you stop. That's what it is. Rose says, Shilajot is a brilliant for G gentle detox in comparison to chlorella, for example. It's amazing. That I could see, you know. Sometimes when you're detoxing, it can be too intense. You can't even function, you know. So I think it's really important that when people are doing their detox, stay hydrated, eat a lot of salt. You got to stay on that. Because sometimes people go to try to detox right away and you're just pulling out years of poisons, you know. Same thing when people do an enemas, you know, start slow because you are pulling out lots, you know, and stay hydrated and eat a lot of salt. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this live. I tried to be my best for you. This frequency thing, like I said, is just messing me up and I don't know what's going on. But I hope that you enjoyed today's moon day. It was a nice calm one. Nothing crazy, nothing whatever. But this will go up on YouTube. This will go up on Rumble. And this will also go up on Telegram. I have to go get a mop for all the water that's coming out of me down below. I'm just drenched from like top, 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 from the top to the bottom right now. So I gotta go get a mop. But I thank you for attending today's Moon Day. It's been a blast. If you have any questions about anything, any of our products, anything, just send us a message, send us an email. Always happy to help, you know? Always trying to do as much as I can to try to help, provide information so that you guys can have solutions. So we're not sitting here <laughs> in fear and watching a debate of nonsense every single day. So I wish you guys all the greatest. I will see you next Monday and I'll see you then.